But the hoopoe stayed not long and said, I have encompassed in knowledge that which you have not encompassed, and I have come to you from Sheba with certain news. Indeed, I found there a woman ruling them, and she has been given of all things, and she has a great throne. I found her and her people prostrating to the sun instead of Allah, and Satan has made their deeds pleasing to them and averted them from his way, so they are not guided. And so they do not prostrate to Allah, who brings forth what is hidden within the heavens and the earth and knows what you conceal and what you declare. Allah, there is no deity except him, Lord of the great throne. Solomon said, We will see whether you were truthful or were of the liars. Take this letter of mine and deliver it to them. Then leave them and see what answer they will return. She said, O eminent ones, indeed, to me has been delivered a noble letter. Indeed, it is from Solomon, and indeed it reads, In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, be not haughty with me, but come to me in submission as Muslims. She said, O eminent ones, advise me in my affair. I would not decide a matter until you witness for me. They said, We are men of strength and of great military might, but the command is yours, so see what you will command. She said, Indeed, kings, when they enter a city, they ruin it and render the honored of its people humbled, and thus do they do. But indeed, I will send to them a gift and see with what reply the messengers will return. So when they came to Solomon, he said, Do you provide me with wealth? But what Allah has given me is better than what he has given you. Rather, it is you who rejoice in your gift. Return to them, for we will surely come to them with soldiers that they will be powerless to encounter, and we will surely expel them therefrom in humiliation, and they will be debased. Solomon said, O assembly of jinn, which of you will bring me her throne before they come to me in submission? A powerful one from among the jinn said, I will bring it to you before you rise from your place, and indeed, I am for this task strong and trustworthy. Said one who had knowledge from the scripture, I will bring it to you before your glance returns to you. And when Solomon saw it placed before him, he said, This is from the favor of my Lord to test me whether I will be grateful or ungrateful. And whoever is grateful, his gratitude is only for the benefit of himself. And whoever is ungrateful, then indeed my Lord is free of need and generous. He said, Disguise for her her throne. We will see whether she will be guided to truth or will be of those who is not guided. There was for the tribe of Saba in their dwelling place a sign, two fields of gardens on the right and on the left. They were told, Eat from the provisions of your Lord and be grateful to him. A good land have you and a forgiving Lord. <laughs> 